Hey everyone, Tin Man here in the top eight of the ETS. Uh, I'm up against Dr. Hero playing a Praxis uh, Horn Stoker type of deck. Uh, pretty interesting deck. Um, we lost that eye roll, but this um, is a pretty decent open hand, so we kept this. Um, I'm going to back up a Fire Influence here so we can cast our one drop. Um, we've got the color requirements for Vicious Highwayman, which is quite strong against him. He has a lot of X1s in his deck. Um, although, unfortunately, we won't be able to cast Instigator on turn two. Uh, we'll still be able to cast, you know, Pyronite plus Torch on turn two if he plays like a Trailmaker or something. Uh, late to the party, Seek Power. I guess he uh, didn't have the ability to cast that on turn one, so not that big a deal. <clears throat> Just attack him. Um, play the Banner. I know he doesn't have Torch in the main deck, otherwise I should have played Banner first. Um, but we know he doesn't have Torch, so it was, it was completely irrelevant. Shepherd's Horn, that's the whole namesake of his deck right there. Uh, let's see if we can kind of, you know, beat down around that. It's obviously going to be, you know, getting him a lot of value. Um, if he, you know, ramps out a World Bear Behemoth or something here, but... Sandstorm Titan? Ugh. Can't quite beat that. Um, let's attack with this, and I can trade a Torch plus... Um, Torch plus the attack, which uh, he does not allow. That's all right. It just says nothing, uh, which has got to feel pretty good. Um, unfortunately, Diplo still doesn't actually get me anything. It gives me my fourth power to be able to cast Highwayman or something. What could he possibly have as a fast spell? Nothing. There's no fast spell that he could have here. Um, he just has like a Flame Stoker, Heart of the Vaults uh, in store. Um, so I think I'm just going to Vicious Highwayman A-Space. I think that just puts the most damage out there. He gets one good block off, takes three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, and then, like, what's the worst that happens here? He casts Heart of the Vault. And then I hopefully draw power and can Bandit Queen A-Space. Could be alright with that. Yep, Heart of the Vault kills a guy. Uh, Bandit Queen A-Space kills him. Pretty sure. Top deck the Temple Scribe. Okay, so... Uh, well, okay, so now Shadow Sigil. Uh, Vicious Highwayman A-Space still kills him. Yeah. To kill his extra blocker. This plus a torch, obviously. <clears throat> we'll get him the whole way. So, up game one. Uh, and then obviously, um, the way that this tournament is structured is that, uh, or the top eight is structured is that the first two games are, are no sideboards. Uh, they're just your game one deck. Um, and then, uh, um, yep, accept again. And uh, hopefully we can just run this back and get up to a quick 2-0 uh, lead before he can start bringing in his early interaction. He doesn't have any torches or purifies in the main deck, so um, it's a good time for us to kind of capitalize on that. This hand is kind of the same deal. Uh, it's a little bit light on power, so casting Vicious Highwayman is going to be a little difficult. But we otherwise have a pretty solid, um, a pretty solid setup here. Uh, I'm just going to clear out this notification and then... Uh, hold on to this hand. This hand looks pretty solid. We'll keep that. Uh, we've got, you know, two of our colors. We can cast a bunch of the cards in our hand. <clears throat> uh, so he's got things like Trailmaker, Temple Scribe, Initiative Sands that he could be playing. Um, so I think I'd rather play Grenadin, Grenadin Drone first as my first attacker, because otherwise if he plays like a Temple Scribe, then it just kind of eats the Pyronite pretty efficiently. So I'd rather... Um, you know, not let him trade up like that, in a sense. Looks like he does not have that two drop, which has got to be got to feel pretty good for us. Uh, I'm just gonna play the Pyronite first, just to not give away that I have a rapid shot in hand, because uh, otherwise you'd see the stop. So I'll just play the Pyronite first, and then we can curve right and champion the chaos. If we find a red, we can play higher man. If we find another shadow, well, we get champion of chaos buffed. So looking pretty good. Uh, especially with a hideout pistol able to answer a sandstorm titan here. 
Uh, and if we draw a... Um, well, I guess we don't have a really... If we draw a power... Ooh, it's double Dawnwalkers. That's going to be annoying. So, what I can do is Torch Hideout Pistol kill them. Hopefully he doesn't have a time influence and brings them right back and gains a bunch of life. But I think that's the best we got here. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to put this on here. Kill off one. Torch the other one. A space for a bunch. Oh, with any luck, he, you know, doesn't have time influence plus big drop. There's time influence. There's not a big drop. I can beat that one. I can absolutely beat that one. Um, but now if he has another big drop on top of this, things get real bad real quick. So how do I want to approach this? I can rapid shot whichever one he blocks. Or I can instigator... Yeah, I think I just want to rapid shot whichever one he blocks. Actually, it's better to just play another one. Hold open rapid shot for next turn. I think it might be. I think it's probably better to, to do it this way. <clears throat> this way, if he plays a big drop, I can at least attack and kill it with um, the rapid shot. Oh, he just plays horn stoke or flame stoker. That's not going to be fast enough, buddy. I hate to break it to you. You get, or I guess it will, because he gains nine when they come back. Uh, yeah, that's going to be enough. But they're all depleted, or all exhausted, rather. Um, oh, and he gains three off that, so he gained 12, 20. So I need a. He goes down to 19 off this ping. Of course, he warps in a heart of the vault, of all things. This bad man and a trailmaker. What a top deck. <laughs> or a pair of top decks, I suppose it was. So, um, hmm. Got Highwaymen kill off this thing. Uh, A space doesn't really get me there. I could kill off his Heart of the Vault, but then I give him a good blocker. He just chump blocks the. Trailmaker on somebody. If I go rapid shot first and then hideout pistol, I think that's probably fine though. Let's just rapid shot the Champion of Cunning. Hideout pistol. This guy. An A space. Three, four, five, six. I don't, unfortunately, do not have. Um... Oh, he just takes it? Oh, wait, did I count wrong? 12, 17, 18, 19. Yeah, I did count wrong. Okay. Yeah, I I should have held back one guy. Should have held back one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was a misplay. Um, I did not realize that he had Fatal on the backswing there, but um, that was pretty much like the most perfect draw you can picture out of him. So, yeah, that was that was my, my mistake. Um, anyway, uh, let's go to sideboard here. Um... Clone the sideboard one. And what do we want? So we definitely want... Do I even care about... Uh, sabotage is probably not. Suffocate's not that impactful. Wait, what do I... Am I even bringing in anything? No, definitely statuary maidens. Um, Sendriotti's fine. It doesn't hit his um, sandstorm type. It hits everything else. Annihilates are good. Torches, I guess, aren't horrible sabotage probably don't want um probably cut some number of the obliterates and rapid shot um and you cut more than just this um maybe some number of torches No, I think I can cut a couple of the rapid shots. Two of those, and let's cut, um, actually, 
all four, and a Pyronite. Okay, seems fine. Um, ready when you are. I don't know, my sideboard might be incorrect here. It's such a weird deck that I've not really played against, but it's kind of like Praxis midrange. Um, I just made a little mistake there, obviously, with um, not holding back at least one guy. I just assumed he was gonna jump block the nine on the or the two one on the nine power guy, but I didn't actually count it up to realize that he had exactly fatal back. Uh, it's gotta be a redraw. I don't have any. Um, only have one power. Sand's pretty slow, but his deck is pretty slow. Um, so might not be the worst. Ooh, there we go. That's a good one drop. So we'll play the seat, play the drone. <clears throat> got our aggression early uh, we can play banner and two drop or I can just torch that thing uh, what could he play on four that worries me sandstorm titan that doesn't actually worry me because I can play the instigator so now even if he like ramps into a titan here I can just hide out pistol on the instigator to kill it and then torch this guy down and continue to beat down Normally, the conventional wisdom is to bolt the bird, uh, you know, use torch on the mana or the power producing units. Um, but in this case, I think I can answer his most threatening thing uh, anyway, so I'm not that concerned about it. Um, that guy's a touch annoying, but I. Yeah, I'm fine to just kill off this board. We'll do the same thing that I was going to say, that I said I was going to do. Where we just, well, maybe I just actually play champion. Champion might be better. It's probably be probably better. Uh, hmm. I really want to save hideout pistol for, for one of the big drops. The big guy that I can't do with otherwise. So yeah. Just attacking like that. Play champion of chaos. The next turn we can have the Bandit Queen, or if he plays a big drop like World Bear Behemoth, I can kill it with the, um, the Hideout Pistol. Or the both Hideout Pistols. So I can hide out uh, Champion of Chaos, and then I think I just hide, or I just torch Cult Aspirant here. And then A space, and then I can hold the Hideout Pistol for his next big threat. Seems to be in pretty good shape. Heart of the Vault would... Eh, wouldn't even be that bad. Doesn't kill anything, and then I just hide out pistol it again. <clears throat> Carnosaur? If he doesn't kill the 7-3... It's, it's just like trade with the 7-3, and then I Bandit Queen kill you? Or you do that, and I... Do the same thing, right? If I exhaust that, does not kill him. Seven, eight, nine. Uh, Bandit Queen can block over here. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So yeah, Bandit Queen just straight kills him. Because the best he can do is block the two one on the four two, and then he still takes exactly twelve. All right. So, uh, small miss playing game two, but uh, winning game three here. Uh, and we also lost the die roll every single one of those times, so. Uh, if our luck can turn around, we can beat him down even faster. Um, okay. Um, yeah, I don't think anything is going to change with the list here. Um, still just want to have the early aggression. Uh, obviously, the hideout pistol is insane. Our spot removal is also quite good. Um, so... Feel pretty happy about the deck. Hey, we won the die roll. Nice. Um, this hand I can't actually cast on your own and on one, and I don't have any hideout pistols, and I'm a little short on power, so I'm gonna redraw. Mm. This hand doesn't have a one drop, but um, for what it does have, it's it's a pretty solid hand. Uh, 
Uh, I think we're going to go Instigator on turn two because that's a higher... Um, it's a bigger unit that if he plays like a, um, a Trailmaker, he can't just block and trade with it. Or do I play around a Torch? Nah, let's just play the, let's play the Instigator. I could be just starting to try to stop work rise, but this guy actually is sort of a little bit better later in the game whenever he can, you know, profitably attack into uh, World Bearer Behemoths and Sandstorm Titans and the like. Hopefully we just draw, I don't know, wait, kill this guy. That'd be nice. I could annihilate it, or I could just annihilate whatever he plays with it, right? These are my two options. Let's just annihilate whatever he plays with it. I think it, I'd rather just annihilate his big things and his little derpy mana dorks. Um, unless I know it's like going to power screw him. I just don't really want to do that on mana dorks. If he plays a Dawnwalker here, that's pretty annoying. A Shepherd's Horn. He's had turn three or four Shepherd's Horn every single game. By the way, now I might annihilate it if I draw power. I'll definitely go Rip Knife Annihilate if I draw power. Because that prevents him from playing a five drop next turn. Cult Aspirant. Or one drop... Um, Annihilate works just the same. So let's um let's A space with these guys. And then Grenon and Drone Annihilate. Actually, I can kill whatever he plays. Maybe it's best to just play another champion. I think it's probably better to just play another champion. Is he gonna do like World Bear Behemoth, Sandstorm Titan? I don't care. Yeah, just play another one. I'm kind of going against the conventional grain of Bolt the Bird, but I, I I can gain so much more tempo if I let him actually play his big thing with it and then annihilate his big thing. He has Dawnwalkers. That doesn't really help my cause. It is common cause, actually. So I'm definitely going to warp this in, tap down his, uh, his uh, Dawnwalker. A space. I gotta play the common cause in order to play the Grenadine drone, unfortunately. I just don't get the effect. Uh, so now if he plays like World Bear Behemoth, sure. Now that's something I'm gonna have to Cinder Yeti or Annihilate. Probably annihilate. Yeah, let's just annihilate the behemoth. Then a space here. He's gonna get a, a one good block off here, and then we can play the rip knife. There's two profitable blocks because we just have not found another influence. God, these guys would be so absurd if they were. You know, if I had another, if that uh, common cause was like a seat or a banner. So now Cinder Yeti tapping down a blocker and then A spacing should win it. Nope, Devoted the Urge will keep him alive. Well, will it? I don't think it does actually. So I tap down the Aspirant and then A space. He blocks this on here, this on there, takes one, two, three, four. Yeah, maybe it does keep him alive. Five. Yeah, I think that's the play anyway. Blocks this on there. This over here takes three, four, five, six. Um, just barely short. Oh, wait. Depends on what he does. If he plays around Torch or not. He can stay alive here. One, two, or three, four, five, six, seven. Booty. Torch you. And there we go. All right. <laughs> I, I would assume he'd have to like block to play around a torch, just chump block over there. But uh, we got away with, uh, despite 
despite uh, a punt, we were able to get away and move on into the top four. Feels good, man.